Now, if you've ever considered selling your car, you've probably considered one place, and that's We Buy Any Car. Any make, any model, any age, any price, from 50 quid to 100 grand. We buy any car. Now, in today's video, I'm going to try and go through all of my tips to make sure that you get the most money for your car if you take it to We Buy Any Car. Now, all of these tips have come from a We Buy Any Car employee, so they do work and they are genuine. It's not the most ethical video in the world, but hey ho, you're there to try and make as much money from We Buy Any Car as possible. What I call them? Fun coupons! Yeah. Because at the end of the day, they're going to be making a hell of a lot of money on the car that you're selling to them anyway, because their profit margins are a lot bigger. So essentially what We Buy Any Car are doing is buying your car at a reduced rate than what you'd actually achieve on a private market, but it's just because it's the ease and simpleness of getting the money in your account straight away. The way that they make their money is that they're actually supplying other trade dealers and also private sales as well, and they'll charge a markup on the car that you sell to them. Now the first and most interesting tip on this list is actually to own two keys. Now you might not think that's something special, but basically we buy any car are gonna pay up to 200 pounds or knock off 200 pounds if you've only got one key. So if you've got the two, that's really, really good news. But if you only have the one key, and mo most people do actually only have the one key because someone ends up losing the second or the spare one, if you go onto eBay, you can actually buy the same key for about £15 and it will be uncoded, so it won't work to your car unless you get it coded, which costs somewhere at about £150 at some places. So, all you're going to do is buy a key that doesn't work for your car and put it in the pack. And then say that you've got two keys because they will only test the one key. They won't test the other key, they'll still class it as having two keys, although the second key doesn't actually work with the car. I know it sounds bonkers, but it actually works, so that will save you £200 off the price they give you on the internet. Now, second on this list is actually when to take your car to We Buy Any Car and book your appointment. Because at that appointment, they're gonna have a look around the car and they're gonna try and notice any scuffs, any chips, or any blemishes in the paintwork. Now obviously, if they do find anything, they will knock the price down that they offered you on the internet. But if you book an appointment on a rainy or cloudy day, or at some point during later in the evening, one, the person who's going through the deal and checking through the car is not going to make a thorough job towards the end of the day because they're like anyone else, they just want to get home. Also, on a dark and cloudy day or even if it's raining, they're not going to spend too much time outside and they're not going to notice as many scuffs or chips or anything like that. So it definitely pays dividends to make sure that you visit We Buy Any Car on a rainy, cloudy day and later in the evening, do not book a morning appointment because they're far more likely to see things and also probably be more proactive about their work. So this could save you an extra couple of hundred quid. So this third one is really unethical and I kind of don't agree with it at all. But if you can get the car there and it doesn't have a working gearbox, we buy any car will still buy your car. The reason being is because they can only test drive it forwards and backwards and they're not allowed to take it around a car park or anything like that, they can just move it forwards and backwards so they'll be going in first gear and reverse gear. So as long as you've got those two gears, it'll be fine. If you can't get second, third, fourth or fifth, then obviously that's a big issue, but We Buy Any Car will not know about it. So they effectively will buy a car with gearbox problems, no problem at all. But the only thing is with that is how the hell are you gonna get the car to We Buy Any Car? I suppose you might be able to do home appointments, I'm not sure, but also you probably could get the car shipped to this sort of car park and then just roll it or just whack it into first gear all the way up to the We Buy Any Car tent or wherever it is. So it could actually work. So if you've got a knackered gearbox, don't worry, they're not actually gonna knock off any money for it. They're literally just gonna drive it forwards and backwards. So as long as you can get first and reverse, you're fine. A great success! So the fourth thing to know is We Buy Any Car won't give you more money for having good or new tyres on your car. So as long as they're just above the legal limit of 1.5mm of tread, they will still give you the amount of money they show you on the screen. So providing they're legal, it's absolutely fine. So just make sure that you don't buy new tyres and pop them onto the car. Just go to We Buy Any Car, providing they're legal, and they'll still give you the amount showing on the screen. So the fifth and final tip is we buy any car, if they notice any lights on the dashboard, they will not buy the car. However, 
There's things called OBD port readers that you can buy on eBay, which can range anywhere from like 20 quid to all the way up to like 200 pounds, depending on which version you get. And if you plug that into your OBD port on your car, you can actually clear all the fault codes so that every time you turn the car on, it then reinitiates sort of the driving and then turns those codes off initially until they become a problem again. So what you can actually do is get rid of those problems altogether, take it to we buy any car and obviously let them turn the car on. And because it hasn't moved, the likelihood is no lights will show on the dashboard. But obviously as soon as they can move the car a decent distance, lights may reappear. But because they can't test drive the car and they can only go forwards and backwards, they're not gonna take it on a test drive so they will not find the lights on the dashboard. But bear in mind that when you do take your car to We Buy Any Car, first thing they will do is make you start the car up and let it run whilst the whole time they're talking to you. So it could be anywhere between five minutes and half an hour, you just don't know. But it just to be bearing in mind, if the lights do come on, if you've reset it before, within about five or 10 minutes, We Buy Any Car won't buy the car. But that is your best bet if you have any lights on the dashboard is just to clear them with this OBD port reader off eBay and then happy days because they're none the wiser and they'll still give you the amount shown on the internet. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching, really do appreciate it. There is actually a bonus tip and it's the best one on the list. Now if you don't have a spare tire or a space saver in the boot of your car, the likelihood is they're actually gonna knock off 200 pounds from that price on the screen again. So what you can do is buy tire foam off eBay for 15 pounds and they'll class that as having a spare tire which obviously keeps the 200 pound on the price that you see on the screen. That is an absolute brilliant saving and it costs you only 15 quid to make that 200 pound saving. So it was worthwhile for sticking around to the end of the video to well done you. So there you have it guys, that was my five best tips for getting more money from We Buy Any Car if you are looking to sell your car with them. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!